You know, sometimes people want to know exactly what I've been doing lately. This is a web-only series of shorts that try to answer that question. You're watching it. On Saturday, February 22nd, 2014, there was some sort of electrical problem at the corner of Carson and 12th Streets on the south side. Old wires or a transformer or something caused a telephone pole to catch on fire and they had to close the street. <laughs> but lots of people had come to the south side that day for the soup contest. And no electrical glitch was going to stop people from sampling soups. Once you're registered, you get basically the map of the 26 area local restaurants and businesses. It's sort of like your golden ticket. And then you get your real golden ticket. So in each restaurant that you go to, you get your soup and they click you off. Um, and you get to sample 26 different kinds. Here we go. Best soup. Number one. It's good. It's really good. They're all usually good. <laughs> Oh, it was very good. First one, but we got about 20 more to go. All of the participating restaurants have set up soup stations in other businesses all over the south side. So, for instance, you find the Smiling Moose restaurant serving inside the First National Bank. It's a uh, ginger apple carrot bisque. And we have some fixings, which would be carrots, onions, roasted red pepper, peanuts, and that's it, right? We're competing for the whole enchilada. <laughs> I had to make a detour around the closed part of Carson Street, eventually making my way to Copies at Carson, where Carson City Saloon was ladling out its soup. Cajun turkey vegetable. Oh, I didn't realize I was being recorded. Okay. That's all right. Say it again. It is Cajun turkey and vegetable. Is it good? It is. People seem to like it so far. It smells very, very good. It has all my favorite things in it, so... So I tasted that, then went next door to Schwartz's Living Market, where soup for your soul was serving in the back of the store. Uh, onions in it, we got uh, diced celery, we got uh, diced carrots, and then she put an organic, what do you got in there, an organic broth? You got Not your grandmother's chicken soup, chicken soup, because when you taste it, you'll say, wow, that's really good. It's got a kick to it. It's got a kick to it. Nice. I like to be kicked. And then I was off to the only stop on Bingham Street at Thick Bikes, where you walked among the wheels. This is Tootie's Famous Chili. Tootie's Famous Chili? Yes. Famous What's chili. in it? Well, everything that's in chili. <laughs> Here's what you want to see. Look at, look at the famous sandwiches while you're at. Why don't we pan down to the sandwiches too and just check out the... Not the only are you sampling... Beef. And sausage <laughs> Sandwiches? <laughs> well, you know, the whole day's about marketing, and we don't live by soup alone. It was chili. But if you're gonna chili, it's gotta be something special. Like, it can't just be, like, chili. It's not really spicy, but it's delicately spicy. Everything's spicy this Delicately. Year. That's a word they use on the Food Network. It has a very nice bite to it. Nice aftertaste. Very rich. I still haven't tried them all. I keep my, op <laughs> I keep my options open. <laughs> my options took me back to Carson Street where I went into a shop I'd never paid attention to before, Clarissa Boutique, a bridal shop, where the 17th Street Cafe was pushing its soup. Can we hear you say Ushigawa? Ushigawa. Ushigawa. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say Ushigawa? Ushigawa. 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 Hey, Rick, how's it going? I'm along with my daughter. <laughs> Mushigawa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you guys want to get an adventure together? Wow, it's really good. It's, it's like coconut okay. and curry so and shrimp. Oh, I love coconut curry, but oh, and rice. Coconut curry, shrimp, and rice. Mm. And what is it? Mushigawa. It's Mushigawa. Mushigawa. <laughs> I like it. But actually, it's my niece made it up to tell you the truth. She was playing restaurant at my house one day, and she said, Uncle Pat, what do you want to eat? And I said, oh, she's the waitress. I said, she said, how about some Mushigawa, Uncle Pat? I said, okay. And it just happened to be Mushigawa. <laughs> I was surprised to find out that Clarissa Boutique is also now the home of Parker Button that used to be downtown in Jenkins Arcade and then in the Benedim Trees building. <laughs> They've got lots of buttons. But on to more soup. 
I skipped ahead when I saw that the wonderful Italian restaurant, Dish, was set up inside the shop called Le Petit Chocolat. We are out of soup, but there are chocolates here. They have chocolate. They have chocolate. Out of soup? How can that happen? I, it was so popular. It was very yes. delicious. That's the answer. Yes. The chocolate is also very good. Wow. I mean, a piece of excellent chocolate was some consolation. But then I saw the chef from Dish. Where's the soup? <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> How are you guys? You sold it all. Oh my god, yes. And I almost got a cramp on my shoulder. Leveling up. Later, yes. So nice. what was your soup? It was a dry fava bean and fennel with the homemade ricotta with chives. Sounds that intriguing, but not today. <laughs> Across the street, however, there was a long line at Commonwealth Press. And today we have two soups. Two of the best soups, by the way. So You might be fans. It's the Pub Chip Shop and the Piper's Pub Soups, both very, very good. And they are competing against each other. They've created their own contest within a contest. It's the internal battle between both companies. You got Piper's and you got the Chip Shop. It's, it's for the Wanker uh, Trophy. So, internal bragging rights, all that stuff. They are the uh, Pinky and Perky, which is a turkey chowder with jalapeno, and a, a goulash, a hungry, hungry, hunky goulash that has a homemade pierogi on top, and it is a braised short rib goulash. Excellent. Now, Rick, this is what we call Pittsburgh Oyster. So it's a Hungarian goulash with an oyster shooter of a pierogi. All right, we're just going to down Bonus, bonus bulgaki. Cheers. Are you photobombing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong, am I? That's great, great. Both for the, both for the chip shop. Delicious pierogi shark swimming in delicious stew. Those are two ounces a piece. Oh, Pepper Carol's water. Didn't need a bigger boat. Those are pierogies. They're pierogies. Pierogies, and he's having fun playing with them. Pierogie sharks. Pierogie sharks. Is it um, fried pierogies? Yes, yep. it is. Homemade potato and cheese. This is really good. <laughs> yeah? Uh -huh. The best? The best in the world. Thank you. <laughs> How could you go wrong in Pittsburgh with a pierogi? Where did the pierogies come from? Did you made them? Place? You made them? Uh -huh. I made them. You know, I could have stayed here a long time, trying to figure out which of these two pub soups was superior. But time was running out, and this event only lasts till three. And I've sampled only seven or eight of the twenty-some soups. I noticed that UPMC Mercy Southside up on Mary Street was serving soup from its own hospital kitchen. That's pretty cool. I had to go up there. I wasn't exactly sure, but I think I might have been born there, Southside Hospital. And we have a walk-in clinic here. We have Quest Diagnostic, Medical Imaging. But today, uh, what do you have services. today? Oh, we have, today we have the uh, hot Italian sausage soup with cornbread, made by our chef here at Southside, Chef Chris. When I said I thought I was born here, the greeter said, no, follow her. Not everybody gets this tour. Thanks. This is where you were born. Wow, and it's gone. That's the old Southside Hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where you were born, now here's the emergency room that came down, it was a circular emergency room. This was the main part. This is what they called the East. This is the Oliver building. This was the older one. And where you were born was probably up on one of these floors up here, which was the labor and delivery. Wow. When I set out Saturday on this Southside soup tour, I didn't expect to find out about my earthly origins. But unexpected insights and tasty surprises are some of what makes these local events so valuable. I walked back to Carson Street and
and paused there long enough to read my map that included directions on how to vote on your cell phone for your favorite soups in four different categories. But the competition part of the contest seldom seems all that important. It was just a beautiful winter day, talking to people, sampling soups, and wandering around a really great neighborhood on the south side of Pittsburgh.